Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you guys to the newest member of the Get That Bread family. Australia's cheapest 2017 Ford Ranger. So if anyone's new to the channel, I had a 2020 Navara before that I sold just for a bit of cash. Um, to pay, I'll pay for a few things. And I came across this on Christmas day on Facebook Marketplace. And I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest one in Australia. So um, I only paid 17 and a half grand for it. Now there is reasons why it was only 17 and a half grand. So, um, I think it's probably just best that I show you the reason why it was so cheap. Because um, usually a 2017 uh, Ranger, um, the PX2s, they're going for like easily above above 25 easily. Um, but yeah, let me let me show you why I only paid 17 and a half. The first and foremost reason is huge kilometers. So we're nearly at 300,000. Um, I have no idea what's entailed in a $300,000 service, but we're nearly there. That's the first thing that stands out as to why it was so cheap. This is the base model, so it's only the XL version. Um, so the previous owner has put in a Sony head unit, uh, which has the reverse camera and the rear sensors hooked up to it. Now this is the worst head unit I've ever seen ever. <laughs> Um, you actually can't see it at all, like it's on full brightness. During the day, you may as well just not have anything there. Um, it's good in terms of updating it to have like Apple CarPlay and, and all that stuff, but yeah, um, you cannot see the screen during the day. Uh, it's manual, not a lot of people like manuals, um, so um, I'm assuming that's another reason why it was a bit cheaper than what an automatic would have been. Um, it's an old work vehicle, so this thing, like, you can't really see too much, but it is caked in dust. So, the previous owner did take good care of it, but there's just, like, I don't know if you can see inside that vent there, but there is dust everywhere. Those are the obvious things as to why it was only 17 and a half. Um, there is another thing as well, which I only discovered after I bought the vehicle. And we had it for a couple of days and I thought, man, I really got a pretty good deal on that car. But then I noticed one day when I lifted the back seat, that see if I can make it happen again I don't know if you can see that but there appears to be a whole bunch of um, shavings from inside the seat that fall out which tells me that there might have been a resident mouse in this ute now I've looked over the whole thing and I can't see a nest or anything like that which is good but at some point in time there was a hundred percent of mouse living in here which i'm not gonna lie is concerning aside from that it's not too bad um like it's got a couple of dings on it this one one here he's swapped the tray from the next model up i believe it is um because i don't think the base one came with the camera and the reversing sensors um, if anyone knows what the hell this means, let me know because I googled it and nothing comes up if you google Stormy 2.0 for a Ranger. Pop the bonnet. That, just so you can see how dusty this thing is. So if this thing could talk, it would have many stories with the 300,000 on it. 
So the previous owner said that he didn't want to clean the engine bay down because that sort of represents that you're trying to hide something, um, which I guess makes sense. So what you see is what you get kind of thing. Um, so he's not trying to hide anything. If it's got oil leaks, you can see them. There is a slight leak down on this pipe in here. Don't know if it's gonna focus on it. I can only imagine what the intake looks like on this thing because it doesn't have a catch can. So 300,000 kilometers of the EGR just pumping exhaust gases back through it. Has a couple of spotties on the front light bar. I think this is a Ford, Ford factory bull bar, which I'm not usually a fan of um, hooped bull bars, but it doesn't actually look terrible. Um, it's been outside its entire life, so plastics are a bit on the way out. Uh, mirrors have copped a beating from some bushes and things. Um, those are gonna go in the bin, those side steps. Um, not a fan of these tie down points on the outside of the, the tray at all. So there's a reason why it was only 17 and a half. But if you ask me, there is a lot of potential sitting here. It's completely stock aside from the bar and the lights on the front of it. It's a little bit of an ugly duckling right now. That sports bar is going in the bin too. But give it time. Bit of time, bit of love and care. But yeah, I'll have to make a list, come up with a plan of attack. What are we gonna do first? If you guys know anything about ranges and there's something you think I should do straight away, let me know in the comments. I'm excited. Um, I had the, the nav for, I had the nav for three years, so this is, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Got my mojo back a little bit, I don't know. I'm just talking smack now. Um, still have a lot to learn about the Ranger. Um, I did a little bit of research, obviously, before I, before I committed to buying one, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be a big year ahead. But this is what we're working with, people. I feel like I should have <laughs> some fluoros that I chuck on every time I get in it. It's like I'm going to the job site or something. But yeah, it needs a deep clean, which is my, the first thing I'm gonna do. But thanks for tuning into this episode, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but I will see you on the next one. Peace. Bye.